not going to give up. Carol Clyde is part of Stop Fiber Watch, the group that says the facility has no place in Hart County. This is not good um, for our air, for our soil, for our farmers, um, and for our lake. I have six grandchildren that I think will be affected by this. Litter is a very valuable nutrient that we all need, and to burn it and do away with the nitrogen in it, I just couldn't understand why we would get rid of an organic nutrient like poultry litter and replace it with commercial fertilizer. Well, we're selling, trying to sell lake property right now, and we have people coming from Atlanta and surrounding areas, and they are saying they're not going to buy any property until this problem is solved. Now this is the site where FiberWatt will be built if the commissioners and the company decide that it's right for the community. They are considering one other site in Banks County. Not all of Hard County thinks the facility is as harmful as Stop FiberWatt claims. There's a lot of misinformation and uh, you know FiberWatt has not had an opportunity to even come to town and put their story out there. Uh, and again, you know, there's several things that have to happen. It's unfortunate that the anti-group uh, purposely has put out misinformation uh, to talk, call it an incinerator. It is not an incinerator. It is permitted as a biomass boiler. Dorsey says opposers look like they're targeting all new industry in Hart County, something Clyde disagrees with. These folks don't want industry, period. Our group has never been about um, not wanting jobs to come to the area or not wanting industry. Dorsey says if FiberWatt chooses to build in Hart County, it will have to comply with federal regulations about pollution. Rachel Garrett, WNEG News, Northeast Georgia.